Barnes & Noble. We talked about this right at the top of the show. The sh uh, shares are up 20% in pre-market trading. It's important to note <sighs> the company's market cap is below $500 million. We're going to talk about it anyway. Uh, the bookstore chain says it's exploring its strategic options after several parties have expressed interest in buying the company. It includes founder and chairman uh, Leonard Riggio. He is uh, the company's largest shareholder with about a 19% stake. Barnes & Noble says uh, Riggio is committed to vote in favor of any transaction recommended by a special committee created by the board. Barnes & Noble is the last remaining pub publicly traded bookstore chain. It's been long struggling with increasing competition from Amazon. Uh, sales in, um, in the last fiscal year fell 6% while online sales uh, remain weak, falling 14% the past quarter. Management turmoil has also uh, made issues worse for Barnes & Noble. Uh, it's had five CEOs since 2013. Uh, sounds like GE. Uh, the latest was fired in July for violating company policies. In addition to reviewing options, Barnes & Noble is adopting a so-called poison pill plan to thwart any a potential hostile bid by preventing any party from accumulating more than 20% uh, of its shares. Bar Barnes & Noble, you figure, I, I, we go through a list. They're record companies. Remember Globe Records? They used to go yeah. to Globe Records. Yeah. No Globe Records. No, no blockbuster uh, videos. videos. Uh, there's one left. It's like in Alaska or something. Uh, I, I, will, I like those photo mats. Remember the food you? I or, forgot all about those. Remember the photo mats? You could drive up. Every to mall used to have one. You drop it off, and yeah. you know they take out certain pictures and, and not allow, allow you develop to develop those. And then they'd and give they give you turn a, you in for those. Yeah. They, <laughs> they turn. It was a film with Robin Williams. Do you remember that when he he, he played uh, the photo mat photo, mat. photo, photo developer at the photo mat. Yeah. It was, it was like a, a, a thriller. Um, he was like a psycho. He was he became a psychopath. Yeah. He would look at all the pictures. That's sick. Uh, GameStop. Still around, but of, of all of them, trust me, the Sorkin, fam, the Sorkin boys know <laughs> all about GameStop. We talked about JC Penny yesterday. No, but things that just are antiquated by by things but, moving away from. But can from, I say like, we've been you know, talking about? We don't about, use film. We don't. You know, we talked about the no death of GameStop anymore. forever. That's what I was going to say. I, I if anything was going to, if anything was going to survive, it would right. be the you know you go have your your latte or whatever, and you well, sit in it and you browse. You can't browse on the. But see, I said the same thing about Toys R Us. Now maybe yeah, Toys that R Us comes back. But I think Barnes and Noble. Don't you? I still see them. We still go, and I still like walking through there.